the leaves in this area have been picked up once, but it's a little bit windy. <laughs> he just came in to wash those nuts and he came back out and this many leaves had fallen because this is what it looks like when they haven't been done yet. So the other thing that this tree provides for us is lots of organic material for our raised beds, uh, any garden actually. We can put it in the Back to Eden garden. Uh, we put the leaves down and then usually we put a little bit of um, some sort of manure, rabbit manure, chicken manure, horse manure, and then cover it with wood chips and leave it for the winter. And by spring, the worms have made it into beautiful soil. So here's step one. Put the leaves on top of the dirt in the beds. This is some kale that will spend the winter out here. Uh, what's left in our area won't freeze to the ground. And we can take off leaves all winter and give a few of them to the chickens or eat them. And then this is arugula, which self sows itself here. Um, got some pretty nice leaves on there right now. And uh, we either eat it or feed it to the chickens. So that was left there as well. Uh, no reason to move it set or you know to pull it up or anything. We'll use it. So we'll just let it sit there for now. Another bed and that has already been done with the leaves. And we've got irises here, uh, beautiful yellow irises that kind of got put there as a afterthought. But we just share this bed with the flowers. And then there's a few onions left. And these are just like green onions, so scallions. So we will use those up. And then the rest of the bed um, also has a few different types of onions in it that come back. So here's one. And this is pretty much always got these onions in one end. And then down here we change up what vegetables we put in. Here is the next layer. It is the bedding slash manure from our chicken coop. And there's another bucket of it. We've been bringing it up here a couple buckets at a time. We'll give them a nice clean dry coop for winter and get all of this into the gardens. It did get rained on so it got wet. That turned into concrete. <laughs> There we go. I will put a, this a couple of inches deep. If we can get it out of the bucket. There we go. Dry stuff in the bottom. Yep, smells like chicken manure now. Some of this is fresh and some of it has been sitting for a year. So, but we don't have any problem with it because it will sit all winter and the plants that are in this bed will not be bothered by it. Pulling the ends of the irises out. I should come out and trim these off completely. Now we can dump some manure right on top of them. There we go. And now this one will go on the other end. All right, we've got a couple of inches of the bedding from our chicken coop. It is mostly manure with some, we start out with the pelleted horse bedding, and stall bedding, and we use that in there. So there is some broken down wood in here too. And on go the chips. And we'll just top this off. I mean, you want at least two inches and up to three or four inches on these beds. And that's how you top off a bed for winter. This will sit out here all winter. I'm really hoping that by spring I'm someplace else. So let's hope this is, we're doing this for somebody else's benefit for next year.